Greetings everyone, and great here for another h Powers 4 replay. On the bottom left side is the Blue Russians, or Blue Rus. We have Vortex. Spawn on the top right side is the Red Japanese. We have one Puppy Paw. And there is water on this map. Both civilizations do have water benefits, so let's talk about it. Japanese have cheaper fishing boats that still produces the same boat speed. And the Rus have a fishing boat that has cost twice as much, but does cost, uh, collect twice as fast. I would recommend the Rus player go for four fishing boats, put one on every single, f on each of the deep sea fish. You guys can get a fifth or sixth to collect the short fish. And his uh, food would be just fine. Per pawn. The Japanese, I'd probably say with the traverse time, I go for uh, two, three, three, and probably three there, and that will give them plenty of food. I don't think the warships will be important to cover, but they do get the. I think that is a typo there. Improved fire and range armor by ships by plus two percent. It probably would be plus two. So I think that is a typo there. Additionally, the Roos player does have access to trade bounties, so let's bring up the Roos and see his trade bounties. He found both the deposits that he had pretty close by. Both of these are down. He killed off by the Japanese. More the local doggos getting put down. All they wanted was head pads, right? And a treat. I mean, after all, that scout's ho hogging all the... What's it? Mutton behind him. Either way, looks like he is making a good progress to get to tier 2. Just need to find two wolves. He probably won't get tier 3 trade bounty. I think there's less wolves on this map with all the fish. The Russians, the Rus, do not have drop off location. You gotta spread out these fishing boats, or else you will overfish. 2 is like the hard, uh, soft cap. Anything more than that, you will rapidly drain off the fishing deposits. I say don't go more than four fishing boats on those deep sea fish. And maybe one or two on the shore fish, like I mentioned beforehand. Maybe just one, honestly. That would be so having five fishing boats will give him basically 10 villagers worth of food collection, but yet pretty fast as well. We do now have the Shinobi. Access. He did not go to the farms. He went to the Dakota Township with gazing after Shinobi, in which their sabotage ability could be very decent versus docks. And the thing as well, the Roos can lose their docks. These fishing boats don't require drop of location. He can lose a dock and collect just fine, so focusing on the docks is not important. Unless there's not enough uh, fishing boats already out in sea. So the Roos should not try to put a too big of a, uh, of a, not threat, but protection for the docks. Because he just simply doesn't really need it. We've got good number voters here. If we try and cut the gold, the night, early night, is taking quite a bit of damage here. And now these are starting to fall back there. This outpost has some luck under the arrow slits. The scout does take a couple hits there. There's coming the sabotage ability. Or Shinobi will pull on field. They do have the same cost as a and arms, but cost more gold. And early knights will crush them no problem. The Shinobi have Bonus damage versus uh, me well, that's supposed to get bonus damage versus uh, melee cavalry, but they only have 80 health, which is not a whole lot. Bro, these early knights do have uh, 190 health. Their base attack is, uh, is a little bit weaker, but they do have some armor to go along with them, and their charge attack is pretty good. Do have some arch or spearman mix on in for the Japanese player? We're going for a shinobi spearman composition. Can't say if that's a good composition or not. Very vulnerable to archers. The Roos player has about a handful of militia. Oh, 
some of these knights have taken quite a bit of damage there, but there's quite a bit of torch capability here. The outpost not being upgraded. Spearmen engaging. Just going to go ahead and engage them since they're here in low numbers. Scout down. Loose scout does go down as well, so he can't steal the sheeple. Villager's starting to get hit. He's trying to build some docks up here. Unsuccessful. Cabal could have just gone safe. But he's trying to harass opponents in the Navy. Militia died from dysentery there and did not set a blaze with the outpost, though he probably would have got that repaired up in nonetheless. One villager does get killed off. Shinobi do have the same movement speed as Mustafati warriors. And Blink. Does get a good charge attack there and connect the spearmen. So he's able to focus on the spearmen. Does lose one of the row or not row knights, early knights. See this other villager there and may just want to go straight and get going for that dock there. And that's what you mean by overfished. That deep sea fish is already out of fish. There's too many fishing boats here. And I think there's actually too many fishing boats for the Japanese as well. He is going to overfish this area as well. Yeah, that deep sea fish is almost out. This one's hardly touched. But once that one deep sea fish runs out, then the boats will start pushing over there and he'll quickly run out of food as well. You now have the relatively rare landmark Abbey the Trinity. Shinobi does go down there. Spearman getting hit. Does pull back these guys here. They're quite wounded. He has retargeted there. Oh, and he did take out that one there. His control is about as good as my camera control. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty bad insult. My apologies. Abbey the Trinity is almost complete. We got the floating gate in return. The floating gate will give me access to unique relics, which could be useful for providing some resource generation. On this map, there's actually quite a bit of gold down south, some gold in the center, but the Japanese player is actually has not as much gold as he probably would like on this side of the map. I have a feeling, though, that could be my maybe a mistake if I look at the map. I think the Japanese player doesn't have adequate gold. There is a trade post more in the middle. What the hell? That trading post is almost in the center. This one's off the side, so a very usable trade for either player to put in the corners over here. Here, Roos could try here as well. Well, this trade post is basically in the middle of the map, next to some stone. Floating gates is almost complete. And there's the night knight upgrade, upgrading early knights to regular knights. Knight uh, take a good hit there, down for a hole. The shinobi could try blinking forward to get a shot onto him. Villager here. Villager could try I for a dock. Yes, he is. If Blue's paying enough attention, he has converted to a what's it call it? Oh, he's nope. The blink was not quick enough. So just grab himself a shinobi and spearman. The shinobi should be very effective versus the Japanese spearman. But I was going to say he could convert this to an arrow ship to engage it. And now I've got some roots archers in the field. Now they're upgraded as well. His opponent is starting to go for some hard uh, spearman research as well. Spearman or not spearman. Samurai upgrades and samurai damage through the Otachi. The Rift Shinobi is pushed away forward and he will get stabbed to death. One relic has been claimed by blue, two more have been picked up, while red has picked up only one. Послушание есть добродетель. 
Good damage on these knights. These knights are wounded. They need to just fall back and get healed by a warrior monk. Might as well heal them up. We do have some mountain samurai there. With their deflection ability, they can withstand the charge attack of a knight. More knights being employed on the field. Has a wave of militia on its way out as well. Militia right now doing 10 damage. 115 health. Decent frontline. This is an outpost that's upgraded. That's a fortified outpost with arrow slits. War monk goes down. Got quite a bit of torch saver there on the outpost. It does have five fire armors since it's upgraded. So whoa. Actually, open up. We do have another veteran samurai. Veteran samurai do have plus four damage versus infantry, which knights are clearly not. They only have one range armor as well, so this archer doing decent damage versus them. And now got dropped banner, spring three four gets some hits there. More gold not collected there. We got the more samurai being pulled on the field. Or regular knights falling back. They still need a medic. Good micro there. Needs to focus on those shinobi. And when those villagers do get gunned down, the other one does get gunned down as well. The stable has been consecrated, has increased uh, production speed. Samurai, mounted samurai, pushes away forward. Trying to engage these archers, doing some good damage there. Mounted samurai have a katana, but doesn't any bonus damage. With the Odachi. Right, starting to push his way forward, he's good damage. Right now, the quality is in favor of blue, but blue just have an archer composition, which is not good for some heavy armor opponent. He needs to get some more spearmen and engage the mounted samurai. Or just more knights in general. Archers don't engage in crossbows would be useful as well. Now it's right, arms starting to get overran. Samurai do go down there. Relic picked up. That may be one of those, uh, yep, one of those unique relics from the last section of the Shindo Priest. Warrior Monk falling back. Out of Samurai in pursuit. He's going to try to stop the mounted uh, Samurai. The Warrior Monk needs to start pushing towards these crossbows. And now we do have the more damage for the Japanese player. And good number these nice do need that warrior monk to be close by and start healing them up. I have a bit of work in front of them. Now do have survival techniques I'll be researched by the ruse. Now I'll click the deer. One hunting cabin there providing some amount of gold. Our post may finally go down. Archers focus on the spearmen. Very nice. Mount Samurai pushes away forward. Finds a handful of these villagers here. Does take them out. No villagers does get inside this outpost here. Mount Samurai pushes away forward. Spearmen tow. Those are gonna fall back there. Got some good damage. Archers and crossbows would like to go down to the mounted samurai. Warrior Monk and the knights are falling back. Not all of them healed on up. Making a counter charge there to try and hit these forces. One knight will be picked off there. Mounted samurai goes down as well. 
He may want to send his archers. So to send with the archers there, there's a crossbow that may kick at some extra distance. And so I'm hit there. Now we've got the knights pushing forward and back. These knights are still quite wounded, so pushing them forward is not a good idea. So I'm going to start to go down here. So I'm going to stay in the fight. Definitely probably does have a larger military in the field. Got a handful of crossbows in the back line. More of the deer being seized. And right now, the Japanese player does have quite a bit of fishing boats on the side. I would say too many. You see fish there has some hard been touched, but these outskirt fish are basically depleted at this point in time. Over here, yeah, these deep sea fish are being depleted. He needs to send like half of them. I would say grab two here, go to shore fish, grab two here, go to shore fish at this current time. Oh, that's way too many. You do not need that many fishing boats. Sure, it can give you more food income, but more food in short term versus less food income long term. Mounted samurai moving around. Got some fortified palisade walls there, but there's still one area needs to be ghosted. And did ghost one to kill off one, but now the rest of the force can't pursue these forces. This player does have three relics. The samurai have two. The Japanese player has two. The Japanese player is very far from aging up. The Russian player has plenty of food to age up. Needs more gold. Now that dock is not important. Some more barracks can float on the field. He may be eyeing for some mana arms. One charge right now. He does not have any militia, so. Militia have been consumed. Don't see any resource generation on these farmhouses. So, I would usually say it's probably best to throw those relic things into the buildings. I gave you around 75 resources per minute, which is actually pretty good. In comparison, increase putting a say inside of barracks will basically an immediate value of 300. So, you can either get immediate 300 or wait. Uh, let's see, how many minutes would that be? Four or five minutes, and then you get a net profit. But you can always throw that into something else in a lumber camp, such as a uh, gold or a food collection. Right now it's a Daimyo Palace, not a Daimyo Shogunate Castle. He's a lot more stone for that, and no farms whatsoever. So it doesn't really need to worry about getting that. This of course will get more Bandermen, however. Teach Workshop being employed now. Another Mounted Samurai and a Mounted Bannerman. Good kills are on those villagers who's trying to go for another hunting cabin deer and then can collect the berries when they're done. Arden Spearman research for the roost. He has quite a bit of wood at the moment. trade bounty he's at the moment currently right now he is at 365 so he does have tier 2 he killed off both four now he's going to be collecting the food at least from one the bar maybe both of them there's a good amount of food to work with got a decent armor army here including some men arms now now the samurai and knights now engaging 
back line, push way forward. The Japanese player is going to fall back. He's pulling back his mounted samurai to perhaps engage the flank of this force. Magna will push way forward. Should be good for the Rus archers and crossbows. Outpost has been wounded this entire time. May actually finally go down. Maybe not. Archers push way forward. Magna finds a decent hit there. Knights moving around with a scout in tow. Great hit there in those crossbows and archers. Trying to push me forward. Men arms doing a good job going the front line for the archers. Bad Maganello shot there. He needs to hit this ball of units. The mounted samurai pushing down south. Over there next to Abbey. Good hits there. Archers crossbows have it split up quite a bit. Man of Samurai will find a pass a good number of villagers here. Yep, I see that villager number I had selected going down rapidly. It was like, what, 13 villagers there? Now they're down to 6, so you did get a good number of villager kills there. Because he does have now a Shogun the Castle upgrade. So does have pinpoint rockets there. Two Maganels up on field. Gets great damage from the range forces. Chapter players lose quite a bit of army here, but he probably can hold on to this. Magnus gets great damage. The Magnus on any big threat going down, the Shogun Castle will uh, be very effective versus these small unit numbers. Chapter players lost the majority of his army, but he is fine. Mounted Samurai is doing so quite well as well. More of these villagers may go down. Got these other forces pushing before. May want to decapture the sacred site there. Maganels and other ground forces push way forward. Including a villager. She has a knife. Maganels also now get overran there. He gets a great damage on these horses. Most of these are ranges are nearly dead. Good number of them just died right there. You can save both Maganels from going down. Japanese players eyeing for a bit of a count back, but he's lost a good majority of his army. Takes like being, being, being decaptured. Kremlin has one charge in the remaining. Samurai following him back. Got a third Maganel not pushed away for that should be very deadly. The Roost player. This is going for a pair of spring golds. Very nice. But if Magnus can two large numbers, they could actually try to actually hit the uh, spring golds themselves. I heard somebody that died. Ah, it's the militia dying from a heart attack. Out of samurai. So put on around. Unable to tame that deer. The boar's got to be pretty close to being obtained. Looks like it may have, may have been completely obtained. There's still some berries here, but it does have a handful of farms now. Man of Samurai falling back, taking a bit too much stands there. Don't want to contend with the Gremlin. Looks like this area is recently being actually collected. This short initial one here doesn't have much, does plenty of food, fish there. Keep could take some damage there. It is exposed and not being ghosted. Maganels gets massive there in the keep. Remember, Maganels do pull the for structure, but the village are repairing up the damage. He doesn't have enough escort on the field. He may, with this number of spear on the field, archers, UV archers are pre are dirt cheap archer variants. Or uh, alternatively, he could go for the Otachi, though, not Otachi, the Monster Brugas. Una Bushigas. Yeah, 
But again, his opponent does have these small archers, so probably not. Keep passing out when built, and now he's going to try to claim the skull with his war on the side of the map. Japanese player needs to start. He has gold deposit there, and there's a last of the gold on the side of the map. He needs to save up all those relics and throw them inside of forges. He does have one here, providing 75 gold per minute, which is a decent amount. Nice, take some damage here. It looks like they will escape on out. Got good number of spring bolts here. His opponent has on now additional magnets as well. We do have four magnets and three spring golds versus what five spring golds and six one on the way that's quite a bit of siege weapons for both sides this player is now at pop cap the japanese player is soon to be a pop cap they have similar village numbers Got a good number of these mounted samurai over here. Came his opponent at bay. Now, do have the Tegashima Gunsmith, which will give him free siege units. Both the Japanese uh, Age 4 landmarks are very good. You either get free siege units or massive reserves of resources. High armor now being put on the field, which allows the Roost player to pull out siege weapons for cheaper, as we'll get some unique technologies. The Roost player has a good number of barracks and archer ranges here. The Japanese player doesn't have a whole lot of production infrastructure, so if he loses his army, he will not be able to rebuild very quickly. He needs to build more of that. The Tango Gunsmith now pulling field, but also gives him access to a unique hand cannoneer variant, which is a longer range hand cannoneer with slower attack speed and have a decent anti building weapon. At this point in time, Probably regular hand cannoneers probably work the best. Yeah, no, those other ones wouldn't be half bad as well, those unique ones. Definitely not throw a Balkan, too many spring golds in the field, and not the Bombard as well, too many spring golds. Samurais right now have 20 torch damage. They could try torching down some of these structures. We've got elite spearman research. Now we do have the Spring Gold increased attack range and attack speed. And the upgraded Samurai on the way. Choking a castle on Pulling Field, which is a bit more expensive than a regular castle, but does have a much more powerful weapon attack. Castle turret. So he's getting a castle turret somewhere? The Roost player is getting upgraded at Wooden Fortress somewhere. Not sure where though. Red Storm pushing way forward. The Samurai right now have 20 Torch damage, Spring Gold. A little bit of a kill on Blue Spring Gold. No Boiling Oil research for the Roost. The Boiling Oil will probably be very useful. The 
this point starting to get decaptured. Keep now taking some fire there. Spring gold to engage with Keep. Magnolos can be useful to engage Keeps as well. But now got the bomb bar now engaging. Spring Gall trying to push forward. Gets a couple of good hits down the bomb bard. Spring Gall's engaged. Spring Gall's overkill there in red. Blues may have a bit overkill as well. Outpost up there being captured on up. Map Samurai could find opportunity to engage these villagers. Right now, the Japanese player just needs to eye more gold collection of any sort. Right now, the Roost player is just doing a good job of walking out all the gold, especially this one in the center of the map. He's bought some more forts over here and decided for more gold generation. I do not have the uh, increased damage. Level 4 melee attack. And now we've got all secret sites captured by the Roost as well. That could be another source of the gold for the Japanese player to obtain. He sees him quite a bit of wood there. There's still plenty of wood deposit here. And this gold deposit has not been fully seized, though I think it's getting harassed. Ah, uh, that's what he did when the castle turret upgrade. Which also, this is the one that he's been upgrading. The castle watch wouldn't be half bad. You can always go over arrow slits while at it as well. Samurai engaged the warrior monk there. And now do got the elite army tactics for the Rus. Japanese player with the lack of gold is going to have trouble with his final line of upgrades. He's also getting the uh, spear equipped with a stronger spear, increase their weapon range by 20% and increase their damage by against cavalry by 20%. Now we are just concerned about all the number of cavalry the Roost player is fielding, but he only has five. And there's the five. They're not elite either. The increased range of the spears would be half bad for all situations. Now they do reach. That's the samurai spearman. There we go. The spearman now reach uh, 0.35 attack speed or attack range. Archer ship finding some minus fire support there. Just nice now. Gaze these filters. Some of them will be going down. Let's have some of these units trying to stop them now. Once excited to get captured. The knights do go down. Down the center. No, nope. looks like the uh, Abbey of the Trinity may be torched, being, trying to be torched down. He does not have Tithe Barn at the moment. He may want to get the Tithe Barn. He's actually torched down. There he goes. He's now for some of the Abbey. Tithe Barn will give him some decent amount of other resources. The Abbey may go down here. He's trying to get another Warrior Monk. More forces over here. These archers do have some speed run they get hit, but right now I think they're just trying to hit anything. Mounted Samurai now engaging the archers. Crossbow does go down. Mounted Samurai does go down, but still the cavalry banner there, which mostly is being affected by it, or maybe there's another banner man in the mix. Nope, there's not. I spot this banner there. Could see a wave of militia pop out from town center right there, but maybe trying to keep it saved on up. Forcing up pushing down south. Gold deposit not being obtained at the moment. And the and the roost still has a gold deposit way back here, so the roost still has a decent amount of gold. Additionally, he could try to find some hunting cabins around the various trees that remain to get a little extra gold generation as well. He's forced to run 24, but there's a massive choke point they're finding themselves into. Spring goes far away. He's forced to try and push his way forward. Hit these forces. Got more trip trees here. Trying to hit the Shogun at Castle. Bombard his way forward. Rooster Spring goes are fine. The Japanese player just had control with the gold collection. And now he's out of gold. It's a pretty low in food as well. 
have been making use of this uh, Shona Castle for a bit of time. Now it's getting out some farms. More hits there. Got four trebuchets here that pose a massive threat to the Shogunate Castle. Springball goes down as well. The Shogunate Castle has been set ablaze. Don't see more relic variants for the time frame. Are these berries now being seized as well? So he has called a good number of fishing boats. All the four shore fish has been claimed up as well. And now these fishing boats are going everywhere. These four starting to push away for the Abbey Trinity has not been burnt down. These guys right now have 24 torch stand, which is good, but nothing too fantastic, honestly. Some of those units do cost gold, which he has an ever dwindling supply of. Still got a good number of Magnells here, got a good number of Samurai. Now got the wooden forces going to be torched on down. Now this gold deposit is slipping seas. This wooden force has gone down. Maybe throwing maybe five more villagers there wouldn't be half bad. As these units are being cleaned on up as well. He's still trying to torch down the abbey. Got some Shrelzy pull on field. Shrelzy or a cheaper hand can near with the ability to have increased tax speed. They hold still. Samurai for three forward, trying to rip these guys apart. Also, they are doing some good work there. Up here, other force for three forward. Samurai will go down there. This force should be a little bit better. All the stuff's being torn down. Here's players I just more Streltsy. The Abbey has not been repaired, nor Tithe has been researched the moment. Right now the Roos doesn't have a lot of resources either. The Japanese have quite a bit of food, lacking both wood and gold. They see which weapons are starting to go around. The Roos players having trouble making his defense. That's way too many spring balls. That's probably what's going wrong. The Roos player has too many siege open field and now he has too many spring balls when he has now he has killed off all the Magnell's opponent and now he has a bunch of relatively worthless spring balls. They can hit the infantry like Can Can Mears, but that's one time he just has too many of them. He's not pop cap, so he can keep him. He should try to keep him alive for now. He doesn't have to throw them away. And he's a micro this force here. We do now the Abbey Trinity has been set ablaze. Other spearmen running over here. Those drop the banners. A good number of banners got dropped there. This force should be pursued. So got a good number of samurai here. Exciting being captured on up. This force trying to pursue this force here. Japanese player has decent gold income. The Roos player doesn't have a warrior monk at the moment. Needs to repair the Abbey of Trinity to get that gold income. So he does have a backline gold deposit. I think the Roos right now is wondering. Probably it's having trouble with income because the fishing boats are probably moving around a little bit too much now since all the fish deposits are drained. He needs to call a good number of those ships. Spring gold starting to go down now. Spring 
core to keep those go down. I was gonna cross those here. Good micro there. Samurai Spear trying to overrun these spring goals. Got a handful of builders here. Iron and Golden come from the hunting cabin. Maganos are falling back. He says those four Maganos alive. Made their different pair sets. But the spring goals are still needed. Lushot then pulled on the field. Lushot charging away forward up here. Three on Lushot. They have decent damage and health. So it's got a small force here. Nothing too significant. May hit some important stuff back here. Now Red's going to start obtaining this gold deposit. This wooden force has been set ablaze. Bombard, take out the wooden force there. Those just need to fall back. Meganos, this force could just push them forward. Spring Golds takes out one of the bombards. Both the bombards looks like. And those do fall back as well. More of the Japanese force push move here, and thanks to the fact that he has increased torch damage, the spearmen are actually decent torch carriers right now. Blacksmith is not important at the moment. He's not doesn't have the final range armor upgrade, but he's doesn't not fighting against range. Spearmen from way forward. Jolzy engaging. So the roost player does back of a game. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.